I didn't want Betty's brother was in. He's passed away now. Oh. My friend, it's good to see you. I thought somebody else might be here. Let me thank everybody for being here today. Uh, what a, a glorious day for our, for my father, who is uh, Earl's older brother, and for my aunts, and for our grandparents. And are here who did, who were alive when he was uh, still at home, and that's Clifford Corliss, who couldn't get out of the. The, the van, he's Clifford's 92, 91, and has a lot of memories of, uh, um, and it was given in, uh, at, a, at a general conference talk at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in April, and restored the dead alive. So by his day, eight years, six months, and 22 days after his life ended, when a B-24 Liberator crashed into the Himalayas, he and his brother Clarence, who we know as Tout, were the youngest. As a boy, he escaped death more than once. From the time he was two, Mose had pneumonia seven consecutive winters. He was even run over in the driveway by a car I'm told was driven by my grandpa Clinton. <laughs> Pelt's also married and raised his family in Provo. He was the last living member of that generation of pickups passing on in April of 2006. Moe served in the 308th Bombardment Group, which was assigned to fly supplies over the hump from India. Very into that. I'm kind of says that, you know, sometimes we'll see if this is ever an answer to this mystery. Or, you know, I can't remember what he says, but it was kind of touching to read that. 